as most of you guys will know, as most of you guys will know, the unfortunate thing happened for Lil Boom. The CCTV footage at Walmart got released. The detailed CCTV footage from Walmart got released. And unfortunately for Little Boom, it doesn't look good. It looks like he did everything that he got accused of. And if anything, the CCTV footage is actually worse because it makes you now question what this guy must, what this guy must get up to or did get up to when the cameras weren't watching, when nobody noticed. That's the really unfortunate thing. And it really starts to bum you out when you realize how young he is and you think, fuck, bro. If you're into if you're into this super sus, creepy, weirdo behavior, imagine what you're gonna be doing when you're older. Cause me personally, I could be in the wrong here, but I think anybody that's into pedoph pedophile shit, anybody that's into raping shit, anybody that's into sex pest shit, there's no redeeming you. You're almost broken. Electric chair, jail, whatever, there's no redeeming you. You don't come back from that. You don't get healed from being a paedophile you don't get you don't get you know re rehabilitated for being a rapist it doesn't happen if you're those people and you're wired that way unfortunately you know you just gotta put you in traffic or something there's no turning back so i feel like when people when it happens to kids that are really young it just makes you feel sad because you're like this person's done they're finished and this is one of those evidences of it so i'm going to play the clip for you now this is taken from the academics chat subreddit I recommend you check it out. It's a really good one. So Reddit, you know, you have to go to Reddit and academics chat all one word. They've got the clips of the fucking CCTV footage. I think it was, I think um, Hello Yassin has it as well. The YouTuber, but let's just watch the clips. So this is Little Groom's Victims number one. So let's, let's watch this one. This, the, uh, let's see this. This is from the Walmart. So what are we seeing here? What are we watching? What are we watching here? So watching the little girl down there, right? And then we're seeing little boom coming in behind. Oh no. Oh, oh god damn, son. God damn, son. There's no scenario where a guy should be behind a little girl like that. Fuck. <sighs> oh, it's Fido saying this is the adult. Okay, whatever. Woman, adult, woman, kid, whatever. No, no one should be behind. Fuck. Oh, actually, let, let me end this, the, the poll before we continue. Wow, the majority of you think the Crystalia interview was worse, more excruciating to get through than the fucking than than the Tremaine one. Okay, fair play. Because when I watched when I did the live stream of the Tremaine one, I think I lost a lot of people. I think I lost a lot of subscribers. I think I lost a lot of viewers. I lost a lot of fans. <laughs> people definitely have never come back from that. <laughs> so I do. Please forgive me. <laughs> please forgive me. Let me end the poll. But yeah, big up everybody that voted. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Let's continue there. Jesus Christ. He's looking left to right. Scanning him to see who's coming down the aisle. He's got his phone out. Again, maybe it's just me. There's nothing super disturbing about a man being on the down the cosmetic aisle. I'm not too sure why some American guys seem to be fixating on that. It doesn't mean because you're in a cosmetic style that you're some sign of pedo or you're a creep. That's weird. I don't understand that. Um, I don't know. Maybe because I'm into skincare and shit and I buy my own, I don't know, deodorants and stuff. I don't know. I'm always in the cosmetic. I'm always looking for new moisturizers and new shampoo to use. You know what I mean? Um, so I don't think that is too concerning. The most concerning thing is still, like I said, he's in a supermarket and he's standing right near a fuck yeah like there's so much space you don't need to be that close to somebody especially a girl it's just weird you know and you know most times when i'm in the shop i'm sure most of you guys are the same you're always going in there to kind of get your shit and leave you don't want to linger 
and you don't want to stand next to people you just want to do your own thing you're in your kind of your own world you've got your list of things you need to shop and buy um but you don't want to be standing i don't know it's just odd you know it's just odd it's just odd it's just odd He comes behind her too many times, bro. Too many times. Hold on. Are people just... Are people not hearing what I'm saying? Am I doing... Are, are the American supermarkets different from the European ones? In Europe, if you want... If you want deodorant, antiperspirant, uh, perfume, moisturizer, shampoo... They're usually in the cosmetic section. So you might have to walk through there to get to the thing. So that's why I'm always in that general area. Or is it different from you guys? Usually the shampoo, all that thing is all in the same place. Shampoo, um, hair conditioner, um, hair, you know, balms, beard trimmers, all that stuff is all in the same area. It's always in the same area. It's always in the same place. Like sometimes I'll have the dude, the guy deodorant next to the woman deodorant. It's all there oh okay okay so that's why it's separate in america okay cool well in europe it's all the same thing in europe it's always in the same place okay cool that's why it's different so cosmetics oh okay sorry my bad so when you say cosmetics you mean makeup so there's no shampoo there's no hair conditioner there's no like beard trimmers nothing in there okay cool my bad because i think in our stores cosmetics are usually where you find all that shit it's kind of in the same general area they may not be in the same aisle but in the same area you know yeah it's pretty separate in the states deodorant is a whole own aisle unless it's like a dollar tree okay cool okay 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 because i because yeah because even in my local store i go to a morrison's and the morrison's near me the deodorants are just separated by men and women but they're in the same place even the yeah even the hair conditioner it's not different it's just all in the same area like, you know, either way, it doesn't matter. Even if there was a fucking, I don't know, a sandwich above her head, you don't just go behind a woman and start rubbing your fucking crutch behind her. That's not on at all. He walks behind her again. He's got his phone out. Now he's taking a picture up close to her bum. Oh, is that the lady? Yo, is that the woman? In the in the statement, they said there was a there was a Hispanic lady who came and blocked him with a with, with a trolley. That's the lady, right? So she sees him, and she brings her trolley. He sees her too, and he starts to act like he's shopping. So she brings her trolley and blocks him. Is this the lady that that, that, that blocks him so he can't touch her again? Yeah, I think that's her. Look, she's lingering around. She's watching him. He can feel her watching her watching him he's using his phone now pretending he's using his phone and then she gets behind him in it and blocks him so he can't yeah i think that's the lady fuck bro fuck little boom is finished bro doing this at his age you're finished there's no rehabilitating you he didn't want to admit it either he was on stream look, look she's talking to her now the lady's talking to the young girl now blocking him from doing anything He's pretending like he's doing something else. Oh, man. And you know what's really sad about this situation? You know what's really sad about the situation, guys? This lady is blocking that girl, but she's not telling her anything. Not to spook her, you know? Not to ruin her day. Not to make her get self-conscious, right? Not to cause any trauma or anything. She's purposely not saying anything to her in the moment. And just blocking her. Do you know what I mean? Like just doing what the doing what a good woman would do, right? A good mum, a good woman woman. But fuck, man, like and he's still and he's still standing here. He's he's such a psycho and a creep. He's still standing there. He's not just leaving. He's waiting for her to leave. This bums me out, man. I'm not gonna lie, this bums me out, man. This bums me out. He's still standing there. He's still standing there, bro. Go away. Your 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 days of touching up kids are done. Look, he comes. He tries again. Why is he still standing there? Nah, he's a psycho, bro. He's a psycho. Look, 
I think she's talking to her, right? She's, she's trying to help her with the stuff. He's still standing there. Psycho shit. Pure psycho shit. You trying to take another picture? You just trying to take another picture? Has he got a face mask on as well, by the way? Has he got a face? Yeah, he's got... Okay. I take it back. 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 If you're a guy in the cosmetics aisle with a face mask on, you're a creep. <laughs> you're a creep. I take it back. I take it back. If you're a guy in the cosmetic aisle where there's only makeup and you've got a face mask on, you're a creep. <laughs> you're a creep. <laughs> okay. Okay, chat. I take it back. I take it back. Even in the UK, if you're in the cosmetics aisle and you've got a face mask on, you pedo. You rapey. You diddly. Okay, he's looking. He's still looking at the girl. Yo. This must be a... He, think of the stuff that he's done that he not got caught for. This is just how he's wired. He's broken, bro. He's still lusting. Look. Look at his eyes. He's looking directly at her bum. Look at him. Look. He's still looking. He's probably getting... He's probably getting dagger eyes from this lady. This woman is probably giving him all the dagger eyes. She's probably shaking her head. She's doing loads of little micro things that a regular dude would be ashamed by and want to run away. But he's still not running. He's standing there. She's probably giving him dirty looks, whispering in under her breath. It's something in Spanish or whatever. And he's still standing there. Yuck. He's still there. Now he walks away. No? He's still there. Oh my god, bro. This guy is a fucking menace. He's still there. He's still standing. He's still standing. Oh my god. He's still standing there. Nah, psycho. Psycho energy. Pure psycho energy. He belongs at the bottom of the fucking jail. Bottom of the fucking jail, bro. <sighs> this is Academics' boy. This was his boy up until the other day that's what you think about this this was academics's best friend up until the other day he was chastising his chat banning people telling his mods to ban people in his stream chat to ban people in his discord Lil boom that's my guy that's my guy i ain't talking about no little boom shit i don't give a fuck the statement was out there in black and white that said the same thing that we're seeing Nothing in that written statement that we read on the stream is any different to what we're seeing here. It's just the details are obviously horrible because you're seeing it visually. But there was nothing different and academics defended this guy until you saw the video. The company you keep. The company you keep. He's still standing there, guys. He's still standing there. Guys, he's still standing there. Now the woman leaves, I think, because she has to do her own shopping. So she leaves. And he's still there. She's in the next aisle. He's still standing there. What's the woman doing? She's she on the phone. She called the police something. I don't know. The woman kind of leaves. He's still standing there. He's still standing there. He's still standing there. He's still standing there. He's still there. Nothing happens. She's still buying her shit. He's still standing there. He's going to put his phone again. This psycho's going to... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look how crowded it is, and he's still going for it. The woman notices the guy again. Is she taking... What's, what, what's she doing? The woman notices him. The woman notices him now. She notices him. What's happening now? She notices him. She's staring. Okay, now he goes to her. Oh, maybe she's telling her now. Maybe she's writing something on her phone, a message to tell her. Maybe she's doing that to tell him, sorry, to tell, to tell the girl. 
And now he walks away. He's still there. Okay, she types up, she's, she's doing something. He's still standing there. Oh my God, bro. Okay, now she leaves. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Yo, wow. Wow. Little Boom is a fucking creep. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God. <sighs> Another one quickly. Let's see this one. The, okay, these are allegedly victims one and two. So what was that one we just watched? Victims one. This is victim one and two. Let's see this one quickly. <sighs> and he's like, what? Mid he's like, what? Mid 20s? Late 20s? That's why sometimes I don't... That's why sometimes I found it hard with my, with my, um, when I was, I was brought up in a really Christian family, very religious. I found the whole like forgiveness thing really difficult to kind of get my head around because I think if you believe good and if you believe in good and evil, if you believe in God and the devil, if you really believe in heaven and earth, you have to believe that some people are just born broken. There's no saving them. There's no redemption. There's no rehabilitation. Some people can't be saved. Some people are like, it's like when you speak to teachers, you speak to teachers or you hear teachers speaking about kids and you'll hear a teacher that's got, that teaches kids from like nursery up until like reception or nursery to like year one, right? And teachers will say that they can see and they can notice, identify kids who are going to be a problem when they're adults, nine times out of 10. They could tell from when that kid starts nursery. Oh, this kid's broken. And sometimes there's no fault of the parent. Sometimes they've got perfect parents. Mum and a dad at home, a dog, live behind a white picket fence. Like everything they need in life is taken care of from their food to their shelter. They're perfectly fine at home. But a teacher can tell from when you're a baby. They can tell, okay, this kid's going to be an antisocial behavior monster. So sometimes I think to myself, like, when it comes to religion, there's too much doctrine and ideology around forgiveness. Some people are just beyond redemption. Like, how can you save this kid? This kid's in his mid-20s doing this shit. And it's like that great Louis C.K. joke, right? Louis C.K.'s got that great, really gross joke about rape. And he starts off by saying, or oh, like, rape and like, being a pedophile, so about pedophiles. He starts off the joke by saying that, it's the one crime, it's the one thing that is across the board, doesn't matter what country you're in, socioeconomic level, whatever. It's the one thing that we all know is reprehensible. It's disgusting, it's beyond reproach. So imagine you're him. You know what people think about diddlers. You know if people found out this about you, how you would be looked at, and you still do it. Nah, no, you're wrong, man. You should get buried in the ocean somewhere. There's no saving you. No forgiveness. Okay, here's the kids up. <laughs> Is this the place where he was saying he was looking for fish? Is this the place where he's saying look for fish? This is the place where he said he was looking for fish, no? <laughs> this is the fish area. Remember he said he was on his way to go to the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, fish. Yeah, this is a very fishy area. <sighs> okay, he's behind the girls again. Okay, so the little... You see what's really interesting? You see what's really interesting? The little girl notices him more. Her spidey senses immediately go because she's like, hold on, why is this guy so close to my sister? The little girl immediately notices more than the actual older sibling. I find that interesting. She immediately like... What the fuck? What the, what the fuck's this nigger doing here? And she probably said nigger as well, which I, which I, in this instance, I endorse. What's this nigger doing here? Okay. He stands around. He's still got his face mask on. That's a funny thing, you know. Isn't it funny about face mask? Isn't it funny about face mask? A few months ago, it was the... It was the socially accepted thing to wear. If you didn't wear it, you look like a social pariah. Nowadays, 
if you go into a soup a shop and you're wearing one it looks like you're about to rob or you're about to creep no isn't it funny how things have changed <laughs> like now i've noticed i'm like hold on exact oh my god who said this um theodore exactly it's the combination of the face mask and the pajamas it's just too much you rolled out in your pajamas but you remembered your face mask that's a bit sus right you didn't have time to put on trousers but you had time to put on your face mask hmm. <laughs> Okay, he's standing next to her. He's standing around now. He's got his phone out. They're leaving. Okay, now the sister noticed. I think the sister said something to her. They look back a bit. He's still looking at... Look, at he's staring at them. So he followed them. Yeah, he, fo he said he didn't follow them, but he followed them. He follows them down to the lady that's got the orange bag. He walks past her and touches her, right? Yuck. You know what's weird there? I don't think... I don't... It's a good thing they didn't realise. I don't think the girls realised what was happening. I think the older girl just assumed he was trying to... When, when the younger sibling tried to tell the older sibling what was going on, I think she just assumed it was like a guy trying to like, like chat her up and get her number. So when he walked past her and touched her, I don't think he, she interpreted it, interpreted it as a... As a creepy um abusive type of thing i just think she interpreted it as him trying to get attention you know that's the actual sad part about it like this is kind of trauma that you're going to only realize later on because she didn't realize in the moment what was happening she's like, oh she's like she it off she's like fuck off man jeremy i don't want to talk to you leave me alone but she didn't realize in the moment what was going on <sighs> okay a couple more and then we move on Victim number four. I mean, the poor girl even looks back after the second. Oh, if it looks like this racist officer is profiling, keep your eyes on the top left of the footage. That's this is where the girl is walking from and where she's followed by Boom. Okay, that's Boom there, right? I mean, the poor girl even looks back after the second time. So I guess it's just a 10-year-old girl that just happens to look back and is racist. And I guess also this black girl. Oh, yeah, by the way, that's the racist angle is funny because... um. I think he was saying because of that area, like he's trying to make it a race thing. Like everybody in that area hates black. So they were trying to make him look bad or something. I don't know. Some stupidness. Girl happens to look back and she's also racist. Wow. Crazy. It's funny too, because Boom's whole claim is that he went there for some fish. But if we <laughs> run the paperwork, it says at 1640 is when the incident with the two young girls and family happens. And it says in the paperwork, then he went to the black girl at 1646. So please explain to me how he was able to get this fish that he wants, which is where he said he was going. And so okay, and then that's it, I think, right? Oh, yeah, cool, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not going to lie. I don't have any sympathy for academics crying. I don't have none, zero. No sympathy. Um, the written statements were very clear in what he did. If you read the statements, it was very clear what happened. And if that's me and that's my friend, and I'm, if, if I'm academics and I'm a content creator and I'm a popular person, I make loads of money in part because of my reputation. I'm sorry, you have to be on a timeout. I'm completely disowning you in public. Even if it's, even if it's different in private, in public, I have to disavow you. I can't be associated with that shit. Even if it's, even if I don't believe it and I want to be your friend in private, in public, I have to be like, nah, I can't have that around me. Yeah, you know I mean, I don't know what that's about. Nothing to do with me. My community doesn't reflect that. I want people to know. I sound with the victims, blah, blah, blah. But academics got on his stream and he was popping his shit, which I didn't understand. But if anything, now that I've got some time, it probably was more of an illustration of just how little friends he has. The academics was really on on the streams popping his shit like talking like yeah i don't care ax my guy blah 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 and if you want me to remind you i'll play the clips what ak was actually saying when it happened when it happened look what he was saying i've got all the fucking clips here for the stream 
I'll show you that. Now, look at look what this guy was saying. So, I know some people feel like. And remember, at this time, we had no CCTV footage apart from the body cam, but we had a written statement. And the statement says exactly what we saw in CCTV footage. So, what were you miffed about? Maybe I, like, uh, I don't really give a fuck about most of this Shout out to my nigga, little boom. Hear that? I don't know nothing about nothing. I ain't talking about nothing. I'm chilling. Y'all niggas can get mad. All y'all fucking won. It's big act, nigga. Y'all niggas gonna deal with it. Nigga, I came in the game like this thing. I'm gonna go out like this. That's how it's gonna be. Anyway. Another one? You don't see I want me to, because I'm telling you, um, boom, my nigga, I'm not talking about nothing. I don't even know what's going on. With, I'm not talking about that. Uh, get mad. Shut up. <laughs> not talking about it. I don't know what's, what's up with that. I don't know. I'm not talking about it. Um, and this sort of and I ain't talked to my homie yet. So. Sorry, sorry, see it, I'm my homie. This sort of attitude is okay if you're actually gonna stand on it. Again, it's disgusting. It's creepy. It obviously makes it it paints you in a bad light. But if you're actually gonna be like, on a, I don't give a fuck. That's my friend. I'm not gonna disavow him. I'm not gonna cancel him. Stand on it. But he said this, and then the next day, when he got grilled by his fans and he saw the backlash because he was saying that, oh yeah, I don't care if I didn't stream. I could say suck my dick and you guys will still be here type of thing. And he got pushback from his fans. That's when he started to realize, okay, maybe I fucked up. And maybe someone got through to him and he finally started to like take heed of what was going on. But he was talking a lot of shit. And it's, it's I don't know why, because the allegations were kind of crazy. Like, why would you want to die on this hill if you're academics? Everything you've built up over your career, all the arrows you've fucking taken, all the beatings online, why would you want to give up or... or put in jeopardy your career because of this like really <sighs> one more if y'all are done Oops. if y'all are done if y'all are done asking about these things, I I, I think y'all, somebody said, act, just address, bro, I'm not, go, nigga, you know I could read, right? Nigga, I see y'all type, I'm not talking about boom, I've been told y'all, nigga, I'm not talking about it, I don't know what's going on with it, I'm not about to go off, no video about it, this is somebody who has slept in my house, nigga, me and him will talk, this and third, nigga, none of y'all pressure me to do motherfucking shit, nigga, like, what y'all talking about, you crazy? Boy, y'all gonna respect the game, nigga, y'all gonna respect me, nigga. <laughs> Man, put it like this. I don't care what none of y'all niggas say. No, hold on. Let me I, like some of y'all really be thinking. Like, let me pop my shit. I don't care where you on, nigga. This whole empire was built because of me, nigga. Stop fucking playing, nigga. I don't care what none of y'all niggas is saying. Like, I will let y'all rock run the show for a lot, but nigga, it's Jesus nigga. Christ. I'm the person who make the final call, nigga. Jesus I'm not Christ. talking about boom. Jesus Christ. Boom, my nigga. I'm gonna Jesus keep saying Christ. that. Jesus and by the way, Christ. whatever y'all talking about with him. I ain't looking to. I'm gonna talk to that nigga first. Period. And if that nigga wanna come on here to talk about it, he gonna come on here to talk about it. That's how, bro. I'm a loyal nigga, bro. I ain't gonna. I ain't. Let me tell you this, y'all. Let me tell you this. I've been popping too long to let a crowd sway me away from anything. Man, y'all niggas done say I was gay and I wasn't gay. Y'all niggas done say my dick small and I ain't my dick ain't small. Yeah, y'all niggas done say I got herpes. I got. Y'all niggas done say everything analogy. about me, nigga. I don't Horrible care. You think you can force me to do some shit? Sit here and watch me. You know what y'all done said about me? Even the people who claim they love me. Y'all done said, y'all repeated what the ops done said, what a girl done said, what another fool done said. Y'all been saying everything about me. I don't care no more. Horrible. Anyway, that's what you said then. So let's do an update on the situation courtesy of some of these clips. So everything kind of changed. Everything kind of changed. Everything kind of changed. When this happened, let me play the clip for you. Um, where is it? 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 Bear me a second. Uh, there, this one, right? Yeah, let's play. Oops, not this one. Cool. Big up the academics chat as well for the sh for the clips. At all one word academics chat, check them out on Reddit. Word. Right, like I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. If a video comes out 
and I seen my nigga pull out his cell phone aiming at a chick bending over. Bruh, bruh, I don't know. I'll probably have to just cry, my nigga, because I don't know how to, I don't know what we can say after that, bruh. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Now, if the next day. Man, I fell down to my knees when the law came. Okay. Put music off. <laughs> oh, since that day, I've gotten help. And I've grown so much since then. I quit smoking, got off drugs, and changed my whole life around. What I did was wrong. <laughs> Indirectly or not, I was just not in the right headspace whatsoever. I wish you the best thing in life and in the future. I'm going to continue to better myself and take this as a growing experience. <laughs> He's crying. <laughs> Little crying for pedos is fucking insane, bro. Crying on air for a pedo is fucking wild. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Couldn't be fucking me. <laughs> it's like, what? You should be like good riddance. You should be happy about this. Niggas out here crying about pedos, bro. Like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, and then next one. <laughs> Let's play that one. Is that one here? Yeah, texted me. Yeah, this is so. This is the full statement. So, little boom text is text academics midstream and basically confessed finally because the evidence, the video came out. So, before the video, he was on live stream talking his shit, talking about how they were all lying. Or Carlos full of racist Mexicans. They were conspiring against him. Um, you know, um, he was there buying cosmetics for his sister for her birthday, which was odd, right? Like, <laughs> that's one. I don't think it's too odd for a guy to be down a cosmetics aisle, but I do think it's odd for you to buy cosmetics for your sister like that. You know, you do, you, you want to buy it online. I don't know. Why would you bother doing it? Anyways, whatever's weird. Then he said he was buying fish. Then you were saying, you know, he didn't touch them, whatever. He finally confessed when the video came out and then he released a statement through academics, which he read on air, which people were being sensitive about. Oh, it's like, bro, don't be, don't feel sorry for this guy. He's in his mid thirties. He's a bad judge of character. He talks a lot of shit about other people. Then when it concerns his own f group of friends, he suddenly doesn't want to talk about it anymore. And he suddenly starts popping his shit and acting like he's bigger than his audience when really his audience are the ones who made him who he is and should be more understanding of that. Don't be sympathetic about it at all. He's only doing this because the evidence is irrefutable. You know what I mean? If anything, his defense and his refusal to speak about Lil Boom actually makes academics look worse. I don't personally think he's a rapist or a creep. He doesn't give me that kind of vibe. He's too much of a loser to do that sort of shit. If anything, I feel like he's really lonely. Like he and he really wants friends because he never really probably had friends. He was never cool. And he thought the money would give him friends, but it hasn't. So he's had to work for them and he doesn't want to let them go because he doesn't want to be alone. Fair enough. But I don't really think he gives me creep vibes. But because of his defense of Little Boom, I will be understanding un, uh, I'm understandable it's understandable why some of you would feel like maybe he has his own skeletons in a closet because he defended him so hard so badly and he was like flexing on his audience telling him telling his audience to suck his dick and stuff that's a bit too much anyway let's play the clip said you know act I'm a I'm a sit or say it only to you, nobody else, and apologize to you for not telling beforehand and basically making it look stupid. You helped me through so much. He's about to cry. <laughs> and I looked at you like a big brother. I heard you say get help. Honestly, looking at honestly, having academics as a big brother is like the first L. That's your first mistake. Looking at academics as your big brother, someone you met on the internet. 
as your big brother like like who raised these guys who are these people who raised you you're my big like <laughs> you don't know him big brother but i want you to know since that day i've gotten help that's a lie he didn't complete his sexo 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 psycho fucking analysis he didn't he didn't he didn't com complete it so i think he violated his probation if i'm not if i'm not mistaken he didn't complete the court mandated psychotherapy right sexotherapy he didn't fucking complete it so what help is he getting and i like how he keeps blaming weed for his issues i don't even smoke weed like that but if you're if you're a if you're a smoker you have to be offended that he is trying to use your drug of choice as a defense for him touching little girls what a fucking pussy not even trying to own up to it and shit he's trying to act as exactly as if weed makes you a pedo get fucked bro and i've grown so much since then i quit smoking got off drugs and changed my whole life around what i did was wrong <laughs> what i did was wrong you in directly in or not i was just not in the right headspace whatsoever it's just so funny that academics a guy that talks so much shit about people the guy that flexes online the guy that is always in people's business has people in his own circle that are legit pedos legit don't you find that funny <laughs> he has so much to say about he was he was kicking pete diddy's back in he was saying all sorts of shit about Diddy, all sorts of shit about Cassie, about the music industry. All that shit about Megan Thee Stallion and Tori. All that shit about fucking, what's her name? Um, I forgot, Young Miami and shit. Sexy Red. And now look at your own circle. Look at your circle, bro. I wish you the best thing. <laughs> Big up Dark Web J. I smoke weed every day, never touch the minor. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> we got Theodore, psychosexual, a very common test people get. Exactly. A very common test. Everyone gets a psychosexual, right? You do that before you start every job. Every job you get, they give you a psychosexual. <laughs> Make sure you don't creep on the receptionist, right? Every Everyone goes through that. You're good. You're a good candidate for the role, but we just want to give you a psychosexual just to make sure everything is straight. <laughs> Life and in the future, I'm gonna continue to better myself and take this as a growing experience. <laughs> get fucked man poor judge of character you're fucking mid 30s having these fucking dumb revelations and shit man you should know people already if you, if you actually have friends you actually do you're actually outside like that you're actually socially aware you're actually a, a, a rounded human being you shouldn't you should have known this from time man i'm sorry when that when that allegation came out first off that statement he should have been he should have been known what time it was guy is out here fucking you know fuck off mate no 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 empathy or sympathy for me on that regard and i like academics um so that's what happened um little boom has been cancelled um finally um the creep has done but if you're academics i can kind of understand now having watched these clips i'm gonna about to play now i kind of get why academics was a bit apprehensive and was acting the way he was acting because it seems like little boom is maybe holding something over academics head it seems like you might be one of those high people might be like okay cool you're kind of you're trying to cancel me you're kicking me out of the chat niggas you're gonna demod me okay watch it feels like he's holding something over academics head look at this clip i'm gonna say this all right i will not be exposing academics on some like bro this like this is the easiest shit like, shit like oh boom is not his mans anymore you know what i mean quote unquote type shit boom is not his mans anymore so i'm i'm just gonna go on a rampage and just diss the fuck out of that because there's a whole bunch of shit i know that the, that the world don't know 
Bro, I'm gonna keep it a bean. That would never happen. I'm oh sorry. really? Why are you mentioning it happen. then? Why are you mentioning it then? It's shit that I know that I would never tell nobody, and it was gonna. I'm gonna die to the grave with it, no matter what happened. You know what I'm saying, no matter what happened, type shit. And I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Because I ain't that type of nigga, bro. I ain't that type of. I ain't that type of vind- vindictive nigga. Like, oh, you did this to me, so I'm gonna do this to you. Nah, bro. You know what I mean? That's just why not you mentioned in my, in my character. Wow. Wow. Because I could easily be on some scubby shit. But, like, why? Like, why would I do that? You know what I mean? Act has helped me so much in my life. Bro, I'm starting, I'm starting to get a little beer type shit. You know what I mean? That shit's starting to connect type shit. Yeah, but I was about to say that, Crash. Isn't it weird how, how similar they talk? Exactly, Crash. I say the same thing. Isn't it, isn't it weird how similar they talk? So you can tell they're really best friends. They hang around each other all the time. They're always talking to each other. Probably on the phone to each other late at night, texting in the morning, going to fucking Miami and stuff and clubbing. They're, they're on there like together, together. So the fact that he doesn't, you know, come on. Yeah, exactly, Josie. I thought he said he stopped smoking weed. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I, f- I stopped smoking weed. I'm not touching my eyes anymore. Oh, really? So yeah, that might this might be the reason why academics was a bit apprehensive in the beginning. This might explain it. This might be the reason why academics was a bit apprehensive about cancelling him because, you know, little boom, for lack of a better term, he knows where the bodies are buried. Little boom knows where the bodies are buried. So maybe that's why academics is being very careful not to cancel him because this this could be someone that could actually end academics' career. Maybe that's why he's doing that. Maybe. Um, a couple other clips of, of Boom and then we'll move on uh, let's see where we got it where is it where is it where is it where is it bear with me a second yeah this one no is it that one no not that one which one sorry which one this there we go yeah and that shit was three years ago, and you haven't heard nothing else left like that about it. So, you know what I'm saying? I can't love you, but this is wild. But it's just crazy to me. Like, I can't really explain it because I'm not finna throw my none of my niggas under the. I'm not finna throw niggas that ever did anything good for me under the bus, bro. Just to make myself sound better. I'm not. <sighs> Academics, be very careful, my friend. Be very, very careful. Be very worried. Be very scared. Whatever fuck shit you may have done. This guy's going to eventually tell it. He's going to eventually tell it. He's still in denial about the things that he's done. He doesn't like how he's been painted. He's definitely going to tell some shit about academics. Be very, very, very careful. Um, Let's continue. Another one. Magic. I really didn't. I ain't never believed in magic before, bro. I wonder how they're going to spin this. Is they going to say, like, boom, sad? And you said, Act did you dirty last stream for bringing in Jake W. Stream. That low key was a stream of the year. Act reminded me of Daniel sacrificing boom for the content. <laughs> the fact that he has friends, he has actual fans. Look, to be fair as well, we should have known he was on some filthy time from those teeth, in it. Those teeth, the way his teeth are jacked up there at the top and he hasn't fixed them at his age, we should have known he was on some fuck shit from those teeth, in it. That is some. You know, those are some special kind of teeth. He said two dollars, ten dollars ain't much. I wish that on Netflix. Hey, that's cool. Yeah, he did bring in Jake. I was like, damn, yo. <laughs> hey, listen, I ain't never believe in magic. That's all I'm gonna say, bro. Like, I ain't never believe in magic. And basically, him saying I don't believe in magic is him saying he never believed that his friend could turn to a snake. I never believed in magic before that last stream where it was him defending himself against 1090 Jake and the rest of the stream chat. That's what he's basically saying. So still in denial, still refusing to accept the reality of his situation. Um, Again, if I was academics, I'd be very, very worried. This guy's definitely going to say some fuck shit about academics soon. That's for sure. Um, And the reason why you know this is why is this. Look at this screenshot, courtesy of um, 1090 Jake's um, uh, YouTube page. Because I guess he got he got it his video taken down. So Ten and Jake made a video about Lil Boom, and Lil Boom got it taken down off of YouTube. Um, he confirms this in the comment section here of his YouTube. 
someone asks him what happened to the video about Little Boom 1090 and he says on the thing, he reported it. So that video, he's take, he got the video taken down. Crazy, you know? Crazy, 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 crazy. So clear indication that he's not accepted it. Even though he's, you know, send that apology email, text the fucking academics. He still hasn't accepted the reality situation, hasn't owned up to his mistakes. And now, most likely, he's going to expose academics for all the fuck shit that he did. So maybe it's for the be best, you know, maybe that he goes down this way. But fuck, you know, what a s mad situation. What a mad. Oh, big old story to tell. His teeth look like he was born in England. <laughs> okay, that's justifiable. That's justifiable. <laughs> I'm out here talking all this shit about Americans and stuff. Yeah, that's justifiable. He does have he does have, he does have English teeth, innit? He does have English teeth, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, that's funny. He has he, like, he looks too like he's born in England. That's very, 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 very funny. Unfortunately, that's very funny. I don't want this to be funny. It's very funny, unfortunately. Um let's move on. Let's move on. Oh, let's do this one as well. What's this one? The, the, what's this? Watching this. Let's see this one. What's it? The unmitigating goal. Let's see this one. Quickly and then move on to the other stuff about Brendan and stuff. Let's see this. The unmitigating goal. What's this about? That's cool. That's cool. You can, you can hold me to the fire. Right? Yeah, the yeah, they're asking about the sexual component, right? Like, why would... Why would, you know, and by the way, I understand the racism aspect where like somebody might be like, oh, my, let me get away from this Negro who smells like me. I get it. Why do you think they felt it was an attempted sexual act? That is a reason I do not know, because if it was a sexual act, in my opinion, the 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 um, what's it called? Like the interaction would have lasted way longer. That interaction was 20 seconds, 20, 25 seconds. If I was doing it for gratification, uh, gratification, like I would have probably had my phone out. I probably would have uh, stared back at, like stared at her, you just like, at her, her ass type shit. You know what I mean? Did you record that, anyone wow. there? Because I think that they're... so before the so before the CCTV dropped, he said everything he did. He said everything that he did. Interesting, isn't it? He basically said everything that he did. The lady doth protest too much. He snitched on himself before the CCTV came out. Crazy. No. No. So Police that's not got my phone. Police got my phone as well. And it was nothing in there. Police took my phone as well. And when I got out that same day, the detective asked for my fucking pin number and he got my pin number. <laughs> and he looked at my phone, he copied the data, it was nothing in there. That's why it was not submitted into evidence because it was nothing in there. Yeah, they deleted it probably. Probably deleted it. Mm. He said, nigga literally had his phone. I had two phones. No, I didn't. That's not true. That's not true. I had bought a phone okay. the day before right. I went up. Anyway, he's done. It's a wrap. Um, you know, whatever. What, what, what can you do? What can you do?